Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. To rebuild or not to rebuild? Big question. That is the question with the Calgary Flames. And Grant, I would think Jay Feaster is actually the kind of guy that would love this problem. Because I think we've heard all about this. Uh, Jay Feaster wants to do this, he wants to do that. I think for some part, and for the most part, his hands have been handcuffed. Now, Jay, go earn your money. Go do your thing. The owners have to let you do it, but I think that's the key, that's right, the there, key right there. But I think this is the guy that can make the shakeup and make the tough changes that have to be made right now. Again, look, 35 next year, Kiprasov 34 next year, and Jokin in 33. I think uh, I think Kiprasov might be a little older than that. He's like a year older. Lying than, on his <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lying on his driver's license. Well, well you're absolutely right. Yeah. But is Jay Feaster the guy who makes those final decisions, or does he just facilitate? what the ownership group really wants to do. And that's really been the case for the last sure. number of years. Uh, this team has made a lot of money. And do the owners want to risk losing some money but rebuilding and making a strong team so in three, four years or whatever it is, you get a team like Pittsburgh, you get a team like the Flyers or the Bruins, and we, get, we can truly get excited about the playoffs, not just pretend and hope, well, let's add a player here and there. I've heard that Murray Edwards, the number one owner of the five owners on, this, uh, on the Flames, might make a, a shift in his thoughts. Let's not spend to the cap. Let's go less than we've got, a lot less, and risk bringing money in from sponsors and fans by playing guys like Sven Berchi, Max Reinhardt, playing some maybe even Leland Irving in goal. You don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know what other young players. I asked somebody who knows junior hockey well, I said, who do the Flames have to really plug in as young prospects? And he mentioned Sven Berchi is about the only guy. Max Reinhardt not quite ready for prime time. So if the Flames do that, I'll be happy. If this ownership group makes Jay Feaster do the same old, same old, keep Kiprasov, keep uh, Jerome, patchwork some free agents, then we're screwed again, Mike. Because, Grant, this year, this if you're going to save money and do that plan, this is the perfect year because Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter are the premier free agents. And after that, it's a sharp drop off the mountain. I've heard, well, somebody told me they were watching a free agent program. They said Zach Priest, say Ryan Suters are the elite unrestricted free agents this summer. The next best, Ole Jokin. <laughs> which brings up the question. Which, which proves that there's not many good free agents out there. So, Do you, you can talk them? about the Flames rebuilding, Mike. The trouble is, what are you gonna do? You don't have a lot of prospects to bring in. There aren't a lot of free agents, or can you even attract good free agents? What do you do if you're the Flames? Maybe you just sign what you have because that's all you've got to do. Personally, I think. Uh, and you want again, to talk about Ole Jokin? Well, yeah, Grant, because I, at, you know, nine games ago, I was about ready give, to give this guy uh, five million. After what we saw, the Oilers do with their center, Toronto do with one of their centers. Five million seemed to be the logical choice, especially the way he was playing. Then he crapped the bed. Then for the he last just disappeared, like wow. a lot of the veterans did. Yeah. Um, so you're right. So now you don't want to, but you may have to. <laughs> I know. This is, the, this is the most bizarre thing in the history of the Calgary Flames. It's the true. Holy, the holy Jokinen thing. Because, my God, he, he comes, he goes, he comes, he goes, he becomes a star, he disappears again. It's a soap opera. Is that not the nature of this team? Yes. Is that not the nature of Jerome McGinley? Good. Eh, not very good. Good. Not very good. Really good. Not so good. It's in the nature of the Flames. It's the nature of the leadership group. Ole Jokinen fits into that. What if there was a Doug Gilmore in Ole Jokinen's face this far away saying, get your Finnish ass in gear, pal. Do something. If you want $5 million, yeah. go earn it. Yeah. Uh, you know. Here's it's what they need to do, Grant. They have to develop a character of a team. Back in those old days, they put the fear of God because they were big, strong Calgary Flames. You look at teams like Boston, you look at teams like Philadelphia, they have identities. They know exactly what you're going to get. You know what you're going to get with Detroit. They have identities. They played that way for a long, long time. This is patchwork. This is yes. country club. This is, this is whatever you got, the owners are happy with it because they make money. Yes. Can you, 
You've been following the Flames, have been in Calgary since the early 80s. Yep. So, uh, you know, you've seen this team, Mike. Sure. When have you ever seen this team plan to build two, three, four years? Or you did, have you, you've, you've never seen it. Well, the only thing I can say when? about that, Grant, is when Cliff Fletcher was here and the Oilers were so good, yes. he had to start planning to make yes. them competitive. But and he, that's what he did. He did. Yeah. So he did the right thing sure at the did. right time. And yeah. yes, you had to, he had a pretty good team. He got free agents out of the States like yeah. nobody did when he got Colin Patterson, Jamie McCowan, and guys like that, Joe Lotto. Um, and, but and they've never drafted well, Grant. They've never drafted well. Yeah. So they've never thought for the future. I think. And then in the early 90s, they were just losing Otto and McInnes and Suter, uh, Neuendijk. They were so they, oh, they got they just got to patch these guys together. Then in the in the mid to late 90s, they were just hanging on. They were losing all these guys. They, yeah, they, yeah. And I think Al Coates, the GM, through his uh, director of player personnel, Nick Polano, they drafted Daniel Kachuk and Rico Fada. And I remember having dinner with Nick Polano. He says, Grant, you can I, I put my career on the line. These two guys will be the leaders for many years to come for the Flames. Daniel Kachuk will be the captain of this team. As you know what happened. Yeah, yeah. He didn't. They didn't. Polano was fired. Coatsy's game plan was, was nowhere. They've always been scrambling, scrambling. Then Aginla was the leader, and they've just been trying to find guys to fit in there. Never, ever, ever building. Never bad enough to get really good prospects just kind of middle of the road. They've no. always been like that. It's time to change that now. I don't want to sound like a politician. It's time to change. You go to the voters. You, know, it, you that, can take that to the bank. But in a way, yeah. but in a way that's what they got to do. They got to look at their season ticket base, those rich guys who, who just sign $100,000 checks for box seats or whatever you want to call yeah. it for four seats and just kind of give them away to clients. Stop doing that. Let's change our philosophy. Let's build and get a good team so we can compete and be like the Rangers and the Penguins. Hey, we'll take a short break and come back and talk about this more just as we go to break. It reminds me of Ian McKenzie, the old Flame Scout, one time. They, they drafted Denny Sear, and I believe... He was the first ever, wasn't he? Yes, and he wanted Flame Brent State. Sutter. And he goes... Good point. Are you Good point. kidding me? They Good. went with that French guy instead of Brent Sutter? I want Brent Sutter. Good point. Yeah. So we can play GM all we want, and we don't know all the ramifications of contracts and everything, but when I'm just as a, a, as a guy that watches the team and has his opinion, because we own the show, uh, Matt Stajan should be gone because of his contract, even though he played decent in the, in, in the last, yeah, and then just disappeared in the final again. And Bo Meester, that big contract. I mean, I am ah. sick and tired, Grant, I, of watching non-contact efforts, with the exception of Mark Giriano. I've heard something about Jay Bo Meester. Okay. Glad you mentioned that. Right. I heard something this past week, that the Flames, where I said the Flames might take a, let's, let's spend less, we might make less. They would like to get rid of Jay Bo Meester. There's no secret about that. And here's what I've heard that the Flames might be able, might be able to deal Jay Bomeister to Detroit. Yes. Detroit is waiting to see what Nick Lidstrom, arguably the best defenseman in the league, or at least he has that uh, old man's credibility. I, I think you might, you might say Shea Weber and Ryan Suter are, but you know what I mean? Sure. He's, still, he's still good, yeah. but he still has that aura about him. If he, if he, if he retires, I heard the Wings are going to make a strong effort to get Ryan Suter. Free agent, number two, uh, the top free agent available next to Zach Parise from Nashville. If they don't get him, there is word that they might go after Jay Bomeister, that they'll make a trade with the Flames, that they'll take the $6.6 .6 million contract away from the Flames. That would be huge if the Flames could do that. It'd be interesting, Grant. Maybe the, the Flame ownership should just go sit down with Detroit and some of these other teams saying, hey, we can make money but we don't know how to put a winning team on the ice. Good and point. it's a good combination. Don't forget, Detroit was the laughing stock of the NHL for a lot of years before they got good. All these teams, the Bruins went through a bad time. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with Montreal. I mean, is Montreal as bad as they are, 
or was it just bad leadership, bad management? You look at Ottawa. What the hell happened there that they got into the playoffs one year? Because not rebuilding and going with the youth movement doesn't guarantee you great teams. They've watched a lot of crappy hockey up in Edmonton. Sure, those great 20, 21-year-olds were fun to watch, but that's not putting any more W's on the board. And right now, the Flames and the Oilers, I would think there's more potential with the Oilers than the Flames, but they're still not guaranteed to make the playoffs next year either. I think Ottawa is a great, uh, you know, comeback season award winner in this sure. in the NHL right now. We were all writing them off. We thought they're in disarray. Fire GM Brian Murray. And to me, the Flames are in a similar boat right now. I don't see any hope for the Flames right now. I can't see it, but I agree with you. Detroit seems to have the management skills of putting a good team together and have. Um, where probably you put the Flames in that market, I, they, they'll probably die right now. So uh, the Flames have never been a strong management group since since Cliff Fletcher left, right? Yep, that's Cliff right. Fletcher was a one-man operator. Well, no, I shouldn't say one man. He had Al Coates and he had Al McNeil helping him out. They've never been able to recapture that good management hockey team. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and I think Al Coates tried. I think Craig Button tried, but Craig Button didn't have a relationship with Ken King. That was going to work. I think they should have stuck what was with the Craig What was that guy's name, the old uh, t radio sales Ron guy? Ron Bremner? He was the worst. President. Yeah. President. Worst. Yeah, he was bad. Just they've they've gone through some they've yeah. gone through some tough times. Now I think though Jay Feaster with uh, John Weistrob as their assistant GM, Craig Conroy and some other guys, I think they they're they have the makings of a good hockey management if team. They let them do it. That's the answer. Yeah.